Hi folks, welcome to volume 2 of this series, Phasing Out Phase 32. A series of videos where we go into watch him bury himself down Bertie Slack's rabbit hole with his stupid comments. Okay folks, take a look at this short video clip coming up. 3, 2, 1, should be flying. Should be reaching our target altitude of 10 meters. And we're going to begin translation. Image processing will have begun if we... That will not be fed anywhere, though. Uh, we should be back in position control and... Hovering, we should begin descending. And arrest image processing. We should be landed. No. Why do you think they are testing that craft there when they never done it with the limb? This all stems from years ago when I used to tease these morons and tell them, any one of you who can provide me with a link that shows that limb making a vertical takeoff and a vertical descent, control descent and landing under its own power, if you can show me that, I will personally come to you and kiss your butt. But if you can't provide a link showing that limb being tested, then you come to Thailand and kiss my butt. Nobody else could provide a link or any test showing the limb carrying out such a test. That's because it was fake. It's just a studio prop and it's got no engine. That craft you just seen making a vertical takeoff and landing, they did have such a craft at the time. And here it is, coming up. Here you are folks, here's that experimental lander of NASA's that they call the Mighty Eagle. Now that's supposed to be 8 foot across the feet. And look at the height of it, compared by that man if he's 6 foot high, you can say it's 5 foot high. But that is not the craft you see making a vertical takeoff and landing in that clip. Now folks, around about the year 2009, 2010, 2012, 2013, there was a lot of activity with different engineering companies trying to make a lander capable of making a vertical takeoff and landing on the moon. Now Grumman, who's supposed to have made the LEM to work in the 1960s and 70s, they were offering big cash rewards to any company in the world who could show them how to make a lander? And that one I just showed you then, that was definitely one of NASA's experimental models, the big one you see in the photo, but it didn't work right away. What they were desperate to do is get the message to the public as soon as possible, look, we know how to do it. So if we done it in 2012, that proves we done it in the 60s. So anyone who believe that, it's time to pay a visit to the guy with the white coat. Now folks, despite the fact that getting this moron phase 52 to understand what a vertical takeoff and landing is. So I try to help the moron by saying, i given him a couple of examples. I mentioned the potato peeler. I said, look, if somebody designs a potato peeler, how do they test it? Well, they test it by throwing a couple of spuds in, switch it on and see if it peels the potatoes. If it peels the potatoes, it passed the test and will do what it is designed to do. I said, now that should be exactly the same with that limb. Just the same with all aircraft with Neil Armstrong flight testing them. They've got to be tested to see if they do the job. Now, you wouldn't guess what that moron phase 52 done. He went scouring through the net looking for all types of potato peelers. <laughs> And he come back with a link showing lots of potato peelers. And he passed, he posted that comment five or six times, deleting, put it back on, deleting. According to him, by the look of it, NASA never tested the lem because they were too busy testing a bloody potato peeler, according to that idiot. Now folks, with me pestering that idiot phase 52 as to where they done the test, or did they test the lem for vertical takeoff and landing, he eventually came back with a post saying it was tested in space in Apollo 9 
in Earth's orbit. Oh, so it went round the Earth, round the Earth, Earth's orbit to do a vertical takeoff and landing test, is it? I said, hey idiot, I'm looking for the test of it making a landing. Where the hell did it land in Earth's orbit? Did it land on a shooting star or what? And he kept on insisting it was done in Earth's orbit. And I'm going to prove to you that he's not only a liar, he's a mentally insane, gullible idiot. Okay folks, take a look at the next photo coming up now. It's supposed to be that Apollo 9 orbiting the Earth out in space. Okay, let's have a close look at it, shall we? Okay folks, you might not know it, but the Apollo 9 LEM, they're stating that was orbiting the Earth. There is more than one photo. There is about four of them. And here is supposed to be the first photo. 2941. This is the first photo they're supposed to have taken with the Apollo 9 in orbit. And what I've got at the top there is the HXD data and the exit data for this photo. And as you can see, it states Adobe Photoshop. Now, for anyone with small screens, I'll put that up in large so you have a good read of it. There you are, folks. You should all be able to read that. Now, that is the exit data for the first photo of the Apollo 9 orbiting the Earth, which was supposed to be prior to 1969. And as you can see, it's been Adobe Photoshop. Now, I wonder where that moron Astrobrand is. Why can't he come and explain this? And another thing, it's made with Adobe Photoshop 7, which is a newer version that I've got. And the date that it was made is 2007. 8th of the 3rd, 2007. And a moron, Phase 52, claimed this was orbiting the Earth prior to 68. You see what I mean when I say the man is a mentally insane twat? And that's not all, folks, because we're going to do a lot more. Okay, folks, look at this one now. This is the next photo they took of the LEM in space, or in Earth's orbit, as Phase 52 states. AS0921-3183. Now, this one, I can assure you, has not been photoshopped. And the reason for that is, it's a fake photo, it's a composited photo. You can tell that by all the modeling around it. It's fake, so we've gone from one photo of the Apollo 9 in space, where it was photoshopped, to the next photo, and it's not photoshopped. It's a composited photo. Okay folks, here's the next Apollo 9 LEM in space, orbiting the Earth. AS09-21-3212 Hmm, now I wonder why Mother Earth has gone from blue to white. But this photo, I can assure you folks, has not been photoshopped. And the reason for that is coming up in the next photo. There you are folks, here's that 3212, the third photo of the Apollo 9 lem in space. And as you can see, it's not photoshopped, it's still a composite. And let me give you a closer view of it. Take a look at it cropped and zoomed up. There you are. Look at all the modelling around that. You can see loads of modelling where they just cut around it with the scissors. There you are folks. That's three photos of the Apollo 9 LEM that the idiot Phase 52 claims is orbiting the Earth. It's being tested in Earth's orbit and the three photos so far, as you have seen, are 100% fake. Here you are folks, we'll take a look at another one, supposed to be the LEM in space. This is supposed to be the Apollo 11 LEM in space. And as you can see, it's been Adobe Photoshop. Fake again. Here you are folks, here's another Apollo 11 supposed to be in space. AS11-44-6576 Now I've proved this to be fake in the past. One thing that's staring in the face there is the reflected light beams of bright objects. Something you can't get in space, you can't see light rays in space. But the moron Cornelius crew calls them lens flares. Well, let's have another look at this photo, shall we? There you are, folks. 
AS 11-44-6576. This one, as you can see, it's got modeling all around the lens. It is a composited photo. It hasn't been photoshopped. Okay folks, what do you think from what you've seen so far? Now let me tell you, every lem they show in space, I can prove them to be all fake. I want to get this out quick to show FaZe what a stupid moron he is. So what we'll finish off here now with is a real daddy of them all. Another Apollo 11 lem supposed to be in space. Here you are folks, what we got here is supposed to be the Apollo 11 lem in space. AS 11 44 6574. And as you can see, it's upside down. A little trick by NASA to get people to think oh, if it's upside down, it must be in space or in Earth orbit, weightless conditions. But as you can see, it's been photoshopped. Photoshop 3. Now, take a look to the right of the lem. I wonder what those white objects are on the right hand side. We'll rearrange this photo, brighten it up and take a look, shall we? Hey you are folks, I've inverted that lem and cropped it closer and brightened it up a little bit. Now I wonder what these white objects are below the lem. Let's take a closer look at them, shall we? Well, look at this folks, just remember, they claim this is out in space. What do you think that looks like to you? How many will disagree with me when I say it looks like a human hand holding something. You've got four round tips at the bottom. We've got four fingers. The largest round tip there is the middle one. And that's the same for our hand. The middle finger is the largest. The smallest is the end one, as it's showing there, a little finger. And at the top of whatever it's holding, the longest tip is our thumb. Looks like somebody's holding a mobile phone out in space. I wonder if that's the phone they used to phone Richard Nixon. Okay folks, now with that Apollo 11 lem supposed to be in space, that object I show you there which I claim is a mobile phone in a human hand out in space. Let's have you all ask that idiot, Phase 52, and the other idiot, Cornelius Crew, what are those white objects? Phase 52 will say they are rocks, and so will the other idiot Cornelius crew. Now, let me give you proof that it's what I say it is. There you are. Look what you've got there. You've got one, two, three, four tips on the bottom, just the same as in that photo. You've got one bigger tip at the top, and you've got the biggest tip in the middle, the center finger, and you've got the littlest tip on the end, exactly the same as in that photo. Now, all pester them two morons and ask them what is this object out in space. There you are folks, there's some questions you should ask that idiot. Look at this photo here now. What this is supposed to be is the Apollo 10 lander. They claim it went around the moon, but as you can see from the data on the right, it's Photoshop. It is fake as hell, folks. Okay, folks, take a look at this one. This is bloody hilarious. The Apollo 16 lem, supposed to be out in space. Orbit in the moon, ready to land on the moon. Look at that, folks. You can't get a better example of fakery than that. A photo composited. Look at the area around, it's got similar to the modeling where they cut around with a scissors and just stuck it on a black background. And that moron Cornelius crew and the moron phase 52 both think this is the Apollo 16 lem flying round in space, ready to land on the moon. The moon, the moon.